Hello, I'm right here at Keith McMillan's booth and I've got something really special to show me and to show you. And uh, I'm here with Matt and maybe he could tell us more about this stuff. Hey, so I'm Matt with Keith McMillan Instruments. This is our new product, it's called K-Mix. It's an 8 input, 10 output audio interface, standalone digital mixer and control surface, MIDI control surface for your computer, for your iPad, for your hardware, for your band. It's uh, got DSP on board, so EQ, compression, reverb, uh, gate, limiting, auto gain. So if you clip it, it'll actually drop the level if you want it to. It's got uh, surround pan. So each one of these panners can be a 360 degree pan source, really sensitive faders. We have two mic preamps that supply 12 and 48 volts for various mics, and they're super low noise. They're actually lower noise than most of the boutique pre's we've tested them against. Uh, four aux buses, so we have a master bus, three aux sends, and an effects bus, and all of those can be sent out of any of the 10 outputs, including the headphone outputs, independently. Um, additionally, it works as a four bank MIDI controller for your DAW, so you have many faders. They're like motorized faders, and you have per fader VU metering. So it's super, super flexible. Um, and we're going to ship it in April for 499 Street, US. So, yeah. And you can, you can operate all of the aspects of this without any computer, right? Yes, yeah. It's a standalone mixer, programmable. It'll store 12 presets, and you can change them with program changes. So you don't need a computer at all. You just plug it into the wall, and it operates fine. Cool. So, if we change uh, some aspects of the music right now, like EQ and some compression and stuff, could you demonstrate that? So, if I want to EQ, if I want to EQ something, I just push this EQ button and I choose my channel. I'll choose the bass channel, or I mean, this is the bass channel, and I'll make everything else. And I can bring the lows, cut the mids. This is the mid frequency. I'll bring up the so that's that's our EQ. Now all the effects run at 96, so they're all there's no down sampling inside of the board, and we have we're only using about half of our DSP, so we can actually add a lot more. Um, have you got like a roadmap for in in mind for you know adding things later on? Well, we were talking about this the other day, and there are some ideas we could open up. It's using a Shark DSP chip, and those are kind of super open-ended. We could open up the programming environment to the user, so maybe we can have users make their own DSP, or maybe people give us feedback they really want a chorus or something like that. We can add that in there. We've programmed all the DSP ourselves. And then the other option is doing something really strange, like putting a synth voice into it or something like that. And we could totally do that. We have enough room and enough processor to do that. So, so potentially, it could be like a, a sort of propri proprietary plug-in uh, system. Yeah, yeah. So depending on the, depending on how well this does and the response to it and what people want from the DSP, we can do a whole bunch of stuff. And we're all into it. I mean, we're, we all at the company. We all studied music, and most of us studied really strange electronic music. So we want to do really interesting, weird things. You know. If you do something on the master track, if you crank up stuff to the maximum and then compress it, could you do that? That. Yeah, I, mean, I can do that. I mean, I haven't done too much the compression stuff. Oh, yeah, and that's a heavy boost on the main boost right now. And we have actually a limiter that is separate from the compressor on the master track. And we have the ability to change the gain automatically if you clip. So if you turn that on, the the... Any clipping, which won't clip actually because of the way we have the limiter set up, will actually drop the level. It can take super hot levels. The range for our gain is negative 20 to plus 40. Are you talking about inputs now? Yeah, inputs, and then our uh, and our inputs also take plus 28 dBV. But the, this has a lot of headroom, and so the master bus will. It's hard to clip the master bus. And it also works as a, an audio interface. Yes, it's a high quality audio interface. We use these uh, Premier AKM converters, which are like the new kind of gold standard for converter. Wow, that's, yeah. that sounds like something that I'd like to use on tour, yeah. or uh, you know, when you get out there to have something really slim and slender to slip into your bag. 
Yeah, we're really, so we like to run cars over these things and stuff to test them. So they're really hard to break. And the whole idea of the whole company is that you could check, you could bring one of everything and do your whole show without checking your bag. You could put it in your backpack and you could fly anywhere and never have to put it in checked luggage. Could you potentially set up like presets? Yeah. Like, can you do it now? Uh, or will yeah, it be? We have some already set up. We have a melody, drums, uh, reverberant would, bass. Would it be possible to, to switch between those presets? Oh, yeah. Could you switch between those presets without a, a computer? Yeah, you can either switch with them on the board. They're stored on the board. Yeah. yeah, and you can also, once they're stored on the board, you can send it a program change message. Yeah. Okay. And you can change between any of the 12 presets yeah. uh, automatically with program changes. So we've like, we're kind of uh, doing something that you would normally do with like main stage or something like that, and allowing people to change their whole sound just from a keyboard or whatever. Yeah. Cool. Really sensitive too. That's another thing I like about I like to point out is that the faders are really sensitive. I touched it, so I know it's very sensitive. <laughs> it's really sensitive. It's got a rubbery feel to it, but it's and it, your finger kind of slides but sticks at the same time, and it's really it's not something you need to push very hard. Very delicate uh, touch to it. Cool. Yeah, we're we're really excited about it. So the release date is April, first week of April. We're hoping to ship it by. Yeah, and it's going to be. 499 US dollars. You order it straight from your homepage? Or? You can order it from us or from any of our, any pretty much any dealer, Sweetwater, uh, B&H is carrying it. I don't know about Guitar Center, but you know, places like that. And we'll be, a, we'll be available, we're available internationally, so it should be everywhere. Cool, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for stopping by.